my boys and girls, preschool friends. We're missing you. You know school's closed. We're saying keep out germs. So the teachers are at home, you're at home, but guess what? We want to tell you a story today. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar and it's written and illustrated by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. and he started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through the apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. And now he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore, and he wasn't hungry anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. You know, boys and girls, it's a little sad. It's a little sad that we won't see you and you won't see us. But if you feel that way, sometimes just remember this, this cute little caterpillar. You're kind of like that caterpillar and you're just moving along. And you remember, it took some days. He was born, the sun came up over and over. Remember, he ate through this many days, this much food, went into a cocoon, and when he came out, he was that beautiful butterfly. And we know that while we're not seeing you, you're growing too. So we can't wait to see you again. You'll be bigger and smarter, and we're so proud of you. We all love you, boys and girls. Bye-bye till next time.